Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you which aspect ratio you should get for a laptop if you value productivity. So here with me is a laptop with 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This has 16 by 10 and this has 3 by 2. And this laptop is actually the smallest among the three. The screen size is 14 inches. This is 15 inches and this is 16 inches. And even though this laptop has the smallest screen or display, in terms of productivity, um, this actually is better for productivity compared to these two larger laptops. When it comes to productivity, what we really want is to be able to see more content on the display. And this depends on three factors, the display size, the resolution, and the aspect ratio. The size of the display is not as important compared to resolution and aspect ratio. For the purpose of this video, I have fixed the resolution for the width of the displays to be 1920. So the only difference is how much extra vertical pixels you can get. So with the 3 by 2 aspect ratio laptop here, you can get more vertical pixels compared to this. And this has more vertical pixels compared to this. So you are actually going to see more content on this laptop even though the display size is smaller. Say for example, you are using Microsoft Excel, you are doing some spreadsheets. On this laptop with 16 by 9 aspect ratio, you can see 16 rows here. On this laptop with 16 by 10 aspect ratio, you can see 19 rows. So you can see three more rows compared to this. And on this smaller laptop with 3 by 2 aspect ratio, you can see 21 rows. So this has two more rows more than this. This has five more rows more than this. So on this smaller laptop, you can actually see more of the page. So when you are able to see more of the page, you don't have to scroll as often. When you can see more of your page, it allows you to check your work more easily. So for example, let's say you're programming. Here you can see 45 lines. Here you can see 50 lines. And on the smaller laptop, again, you can see more. You can see 55 lines. So here it actually has about 20% more vertical space compared to this. So let's say you're programming and you want to refer to something you have written above. If it's not written too far above, and it's actually on the page here, you can see it. But on the more squash aspect ratio, you would have to do more scrolling. I mean, scrolling is very easy. You just have to scroll the scroll wheel or use the up and down arrow. But the thing is, on this aspect ratio, you have to scroll more often. Let's take a look at some uh, web pages. So on this laptop, you can see the photo is cropped off here. Whereas on this laptop, you can see an extra headline here and part of the photo here. Now on this smaller laptop, you can see the headline. You can also see an extra paragraph and you can also see a bit of the photo. So again, you can see more content on this smaller laptop, even though the screen size is smaller. This is a 27 inch monitor with 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And this is the same spreadsheet that I opened earlier. So on the small laptop, I was able to see 21 lines. On this monitor, I can see up to 31 lines. And this is two times the number of lines I can see compared to the 15 inch laptop with 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So what's the difference? I mean, the laptop is 16 by 9. This is also 16 by 9. The difference is this monitor has more resolution and with more resolution, it allows you to see more content, more of the page. On a laptop where the display is smaller, any extra vertical resolution is extremely welcome. So for example, here I have Affinity Photo open. This is a graphic design software and I can see the photos on both displays. They are not cropped off. I can see the whole photo. However, here at the side, the palettes, I can see more content due to the extra resolution. More specifically, I can see more color swatches here and I can see more space with the layers palette. So if I create more layers, I can see 
more of the layers without scrolling up and down the layers palette and on the small laptop here again I can see the whole photo but here I have even more space with the layers palette so I can create a lot more layers here without scrolling so when you can see more you don't have to scroll as much and that's better for productivity unless you are watching a lot of movies or videos avoid a laptop with 16 by 9 aspect ratio no matter how good the visual quality is for the display as long as it has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio that is a deal breaker for me if you see laptops with similar specifications but the aspect ratio is different go for the laptop that gives you more vertical resolution more vertical resolution is just way better for productivity so go for at least 16 by 10 aspect ratio or if you can 3 by 2 aspect ratio 